so. Uh, Do you believe us now? <clears throat> well, guys, your uh, your story seems very sincere and compelling. But if you guys really want me to believe that there's some alien creature or something like that, uh, I think I really got to see him. Well, yeah. I mean, he's right here. <laughs> The, uh, was there Bloob? Where are you, man? I don't know. He was just sitting right here. Okay, uh, Bloob, uh, you can come out, man. Jared's cool. He means you no harm. Yeah, he's just for the pool guy. I mean, he's not even armed. Well, just with a pool net, but <laughs> come on, Bloob, come out. Okay, uh, Jared, can you help us find him, man? Oh, sure, sure. By all means. Just tell me what he looks like. Okay, well, um, it's about this tall. Mm -hmm. Um, he's blue. Oh, okay. Uh, he has a big eye. He has an antenna. Seriously, he's the only alien around here. So I'm pretty sure you're not gonna miss him. Okay, oh, and his name is Blue. Yeah. yeah. Blue. Oh, and don't ask. Got it, got it, got it. Blue. Alright, uh... Blue. Come on out. Come on, show yourself, buddy. Come on, Blue. <laughs> Come on out. Marco! Marco. Did someone just scream, Marco? <laughs> yeah, someone did. Marco! Polo! Marco! Polo! Mar Marco! Polo! Wait, are we seriously playing Marco Polo with an alien right now? <laughs> come on, seriously? <laughs> okay, Blue, this isn't funny, man. Just come out or, you know what, you can just get out of here and go back to your planet. You can't stay with me anymore. So wait, you're saying I can stay here with you? Cause I didn't want to impose on you. Cause I thought that'd be rude. But if you say no, I could totally go down the street to a hotel. But I don't have any proper ID, no any money. But that, that really is an alien. Yeah, see, I told you. And Blue, come on, be quiet. I'm not going to a hotel, you're staying right here. And you're not imposing either. I mean, how many people can say that they have an alien at their house? Wait, 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 wait. I'm trying to take this all in. There's, there's really an alien speaking English to us right now, and, and it could make himself disappear, reappear. It looks like some uh, Muppet on crack, and is trying to, to ask if he could stay here in my friend's rec room. Really? Uh, I hate that word. That word really is so played out. Can you guys think of something else to say? Like what? Well, how about... Bloop. <laughs> okay, look, I'm taking this all in. Jared, we need you to focus. Look, we only told you this because we trust you, and you got us where you won't tell anybody else, okay? No, guys, I... You got me, dude, I swear. All right, cool. see, good. So did you hear that, Bloop? You have all of our words. And you know what? We're going to protect you, you know, as much as we can. Oh, guys, this is too cool and sweet, man. I've only met you, and I'm starting to fall in love with you guys. <laughs> Let's hug it out. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. No, no, no. I was just joking. I didn't want all that mushy stuff. Nope, nope, nope. So wait, Bloop, aside from like disappearing and stuff, what else can you do? Um, he can shoot people in the butt with some electric ray that comes from his antenna. Yeah, actually, you can't. I totally saw it, man. It was funny. That wasn't funny. That hurt. Actually, it was kind of funny. Because you did jump in the air and stuff. You know what, man? You're really funny. <laughs> I can't believe we have, like, an alien as our friend now. You know, this this feels like I'm on some kind of uh, sci-fi channel show or something. This is totally unreal. Man. Like, I'm... I can't believe this. You know, Blue? Look, seriously, what else can you do? What? Am I a genie? Why do you keep asking me what I can do? What can you do? Well, I can... I, I don't know. Well, I can do a lot of things. Just name it. Really? Like, do you have, like, superpowers or something? I mean... Well, I don't know if I call them superpowers, but I can morph in anything. I can make things fly, I can make things disappear, and I can freeze time. Wait, 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 and wait, wait, I can... wait a minute. I'm not gonna fall for this again. There I go believing in him, and then he accuses us humans of being so gullible. <laughs> right? Actually, this time, you're wrong. I really can't do all those things. 
Well, then prove it. Prove what? Prove that you can morph into anything or transform into something. Okay. Like what? I know. Morph, morph into like um, like a really hot chick. Yeah. Yes. No, 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 no. We don't need a chick. What we need is like a big, tough type bodyguard type person. That's what we need. Yeah. Like this. Is this tough enough for you? Whoa. <laughs> How was that? <laughs> Boy, this is totally insane and unreal. Who could that be? Are you expecting anyone? No. What should we do? Um, maybe try checking the door would be my best guess. <laughs> yeah, alright, um, you guys just, uh, just stay here and, and be... Like... We know, we know. Be quiet. I'm sure it's the most obvious choice when you hear strangers ringing at your doorbell. You know, Blue, you really are funny. Thanks. I'll be all night. Please, tip your waiters. Hello, uh, gentlemen. How can I help you guys? Let me guess. You're the Will Smith character from Men in Black, right? And you're the Tommy Lee Jones guy, right? <laughs> It wasn't funny, all right. <laughs> Can I help you guys out? Son, are your parents home? Actually, they're not home, they're on vacation, but uh, probably shouldn't have told you guys that. Kind of weird, right? Telling two strangers in suits that, uh. <laughs> Still not funny, okay? Son, we have reason to believe that something unidentified landed in this area of your neighborhood. We are conducting an investigational search. Because this unidentified thing can be dangerous. Um, yeah. Um, we don't mean to alarm you, but we are conducting a neighborhood investigation. Because this unidentified thing could be radioactive. It could be. Shh. Just keep quiet, please. I apologize, son. My partner is a little new to this. But uh, by any chance, did you happen to see anything strange around here today? Well, to find strange, because my friend Derek, he's pretty strange, so if you want to take him, I don't know. All right, not funny. Listen, son, this is a serious matter. We're not kidding around. What if a crash landed around here could potentially be dangerous or harmful? What do you mean, dangerous or harmful? I don't, I don't get it. So let's just cut to the chase. Do you mind if we check the backyard for anything? Okay, um, actually I do. Okay, my parents, they're gone for the weekend, and uh, me and my friends, we had a little party, and it turned into a bigger party, and let's just say I got trash and vomit in the backyard, and I have to go clean that up before, you know, they get home and I get grounded. Plus, um, I don't know if, you know, she'd like it if, you know, two strange men in black suits came in the house, just, just me in here, come on, just ask them to get raped, right, fellas? <laughs> That was pretty funny. <laughs> you guys just don't laugh much, do you? <laughs> All right. Well, I gotta go. Um, what about the suit, guys? Come on. Black and white? It's a little bit 90s, so why don't we put some color into it? You ever heard of aqua blue? Mm -hmm. Might spice up your glasses a little bit. <laughs> Well, sorry I couldn't be of much help to you guys. Have a nice day. Okay. You gotta admit, that last one was actually funny. I think the kid's right. This color suit doesn't bring out the best look in us. And we look like we're always going to a funeral. Right. Look, I really think that kid has seen or know something about the UFO crash. You think? Because I just felt like he was some goofy teen that was high on something. Look, I've been doing this a lot longer than you. I think that kid knows something. I could feel it. <sighs> Can you feel the force? The force is strong with this one. <laughs> Look, either you take this job seriously, or I'm gonna have to put a request for a new partner. Okay, I'm sorry, I'll be more serious. Look. I'm just excited to be on one of the teams leading this UFO investigation. I mean, no, seriously, when I got this job, I didn't think I was going to be sent out on the field just yet. 
And this is so much more exciting than the old CSI job that I used to have. I mean, I thought I was going to be starting in the mailroom of Area 51 or some crap. Hey, keep it down, all right? Remember rule number one. We don't talk about Area 51 or anything about it, okay? To anyone outside of us, Area 51 does not exist. Remember that. You're right. My bad. Hey, guys. Any luck with this place? No dice. How about you guys? Well, we may have a couple leads. Some of the neighbors said they saw something strange in the sky today. They kept saying that it fell in the back of this house. And you guys didn't see anything? No, just some teenage boy that was home, but uh, he claimed his parents were out, so we couldn't search for anything. Well, that was because he said he had a raging party the night before. Please, don't tell me you bought that story. <laughs> he bought it. <laughs> Look, guys, I say we cool things down a bit in this area. The neighbors now know, and especially that kid now knows that there's some activity being conducted by us, which is it's bound to freak someone out soon. Yeah, if anyone knows anything or if they're hiding anything, they're going to get their panic mode and start making calls to their immediate loved ones or friends. I say we split up. Tell the rest of the team to tap the phones around here and let's just see what comes of it. Meanwhile, I think you guys should lay low with this house. If that kid knows something or is hiding anything, he'll slip up. And we'll notice it. You're right. And this is only day one of our investigation. Yep. If there is another alien roaming around, we'll find him. This is just the beginning.